one definite thing that i learned here after coming here was that we need to have do you feel that you're ready with in terms of skills wise for the market So if you're interested in masters in satellite technology this video is for you I'm here with a student aapka naam kya hai Chaitanya Athawale Kitna time ho gaya Germany mein Masters ke liye just November mein aaya tha 4 mahine ho gaye 4 mahine ho gaye कैसा लग रहा है अच्छा लग रहा है वेदर और सोशल लाइफ थोड़ा डिफरेंट है नाउ आल्सो गेटिंग यूज्ड टू द जर्मन वे ऑफ स्टडीज इट टुक मी अबाउट थ्री मंथ्स टू गेट यूज्ड टू इट बट नाउ आई एम ऑन ट्रैक आठवले plus in uh, mechanical engineering from uh, the university of pune and after that i have done professional work in a mining company called atlas copper so i had a work experience of over 2 years then i wanted to go uh, get into aerospace field from mechanical search for the courses found a match in the university of pujbok and couple of other university where i applied and yeah i'm here right now right. which other programs did you apply aeronautics space dynamics and also satellite technology there are mainly four universities offer you those courses tu berlin tu munich darmstadt and university of woodsburg for the university of woodsburg the specialty is they focus on more about informatic which is computer science and the other three universities are more on the core technology which is more related towards mechanical but i also wanted to get into informatic computer science so i chose uh, this course bachelor's mein kitna grades aa gaya tha 8.3 sgpa as in based in the pune university standards right you applied to four universities yes. and kitne mein se aa gaya tha i got uh, admit in tum university of woodsburg then i selected university of woodsburg because of the informatic background but you don't come with informatic background i don't come and while working in the industry for 2 years i discovered that now india is moving towards automation and informatic will be a very useful part in that what sort of jobs are out there for people like you during my studies i can work into research projects with the state sponsored uh, aerospace companies like dlr and we have a local company which is known as zft also we can work for private contractors and private uh, research companies from often half hour and these these are the research opportunities that we have in this field yeah does this mean that after completing this course it opens doors more on the research side than on the job side yes the courses are mainly based on research because you have to do a thesis and then basically you continue your work after the thesis with the company that you are associated with and what's your plan for me propulsion and telemetry are my kind of interest area so maybe i'll be taking those and do you feel that you are ready with in terms of skills wise for the market for the research institutions of course i am gaining the skills one system that i you know i got to know here was that you have to be dedicated on yourself and to develop the part that you are interested into so definitely talk to the professors uh, who are into that field researching into that field and then get associated with them follow their research papers and that's how you can develop the skills so yeah i'll be taking that path can you talk a little bit about the core subjects what you have and the specializations you have so satellite technology is 120 credit course which is divided into four parts satellite analysis design implementation and thesis work for this semester we have satellite system analysis which gives you an introductory case of how a, a spacecraft works then we have some mathematical subjects which are basic to the courses which are going to come in the future and some basics into computer science languages as well when you look at your seniors right who are graduated where are they right now what are they doing mostly the seniors are working into research projects with uh, state sponsored companies like dlr and isa so there are three research such wings in the college robotics department floatsat lab and view space which are pursuing professional projects uh, with the help of uh, the state sponsored company so most of the seniors are uh, into those areas how big is this industry because i know like if you look at indian student crowd right they go for typical core areas of engineering or business mm -hmm. you've chosen a path which is a little bit different to usual career so the market especially is not as big as compared to the other mechanical or you know core industry science or other yes, field, yeah. but definitely it's a more research oriented field where if you are 
performance matches to the thing that is required in the industry then you definitely have a you have a lot of opportunities so we need to focus on what the industry requires and then make your way into that direction last question people who have same aspirations like you whether be it satellite technology or geoinformatics because these are overlapping courses right yeah. what sort of preparations one should do before coming to germany if they have finalized germany is a destination they want to go to one definite thing that i learned here after coming here was that we need to have the core subjects that are going to be required very clear like the core concepts because in the masters they don't start from the basics you have to be clear with your basics and then you have to continue with your masters subjects so that's one point secondly is that you have to be uh, well aware of the areas that you want to do in well in advance maybe focus more on the subjects that you are more interested to than the other subjects so for that you need to do some research uh, before choosing your uh, topic i think these two are the main focus areas that i should any do. certifications i can do before coming any tech technical skills i should learn for the program that i am in it's good to know that you have a background in computer science maybe have some basic languages like c or c++ that we are learning right now you should have background in mathematics mainly the transformational parts like the laplace and matrix transformations and also some background in physics yeah the basic concepts of physics should be clear it's not really specific but you should be good in uh, you know maths and physics for this mm -hmm. uh, other than that maybe uh, german is very useful so having german certificate up till a2 or b1 is useful i myself learned german till b1 so yes cool yaar so that was his journey uh, make sure that you check the description of this video and agar video pasand aaya to like karna and follow for more